So the difference between biological models and inference models, which are the two major ways to model things for adaptive systems, is that inference models have a very engineering point of view of the world. And they think that you can basically build, a, or the assumption is that you can build a, an electrical network of learning objectives that very precisely describes how people learn. The reason why we completely decided to abandon the, the construct of saying we, we think that learning is a series of events we can draw arrows between and when something goes wrong we then backtrack through this network of arrows to find something they can do and if they can do something we teach them that. We don't think learning works that way. We think learning works substantially more chaotically. Uh, that Of course there should be a general theme in what you're learning but whether you, often whether you learn one or the other thing first does not really matter. What does really matter is to keep track of what you have learned and what things in that are closely related that you've understood. So we work with zones of proximity that these things are somewhat related. They could be in the same chapter in a textbook or they could be in the same part of a chapter of a textbook. Therefore, they're probably related and we should, we should try to see if there are weaknesses with some of them. Could there be weaknesses with the rest of them as well? Biological models uh, accept the fact that there are probably millions of different ways you can accomplish a series of learning objectives. So you need to first look at how people are progressing in their learning and then you adjust what is happening to them next based on that.